So this next segment we're talking about uh, <coughs> how we actually access our higher consciousness and how we actually get that really clear connection so that we know that what we're writing is smack, smack on in that channel. Yes, we're talking about penning spirit's message, knowing that it's spirit's message, knowing that it is crystal clear. Um, so from my point of view, um, I have to be comfortable, and some of you might laugh, but I, my favourite place to write is in my bed, under my doona, with my computer on the, that's my favourite place. I need to make sure I feel safe and I feel comfortable, and that the part of myself that is that human part has all its needs met, so that I'm not turning up trying to be anything I'm not. I am at peace, someone said acceptance before about having to find their acceptance, they're finding their peace and acceptance with their writing. I need to be in that space before I start. I love diving into bed with my doona and my laptop and going for it. I have no shame in it, but that, I'm happy for you all to laugh, it's fine. <laughs> Imagine me typing away, all my books. <laughs> Hey, I love, I love it. And I can acknowledge that the best way that I can begin my connection with spirit is to be honest with myself. You know, trying to be someone you're not. Oh, well, you know, JK Rowling, you know, she, she, she wrote this way or that way, so I better do that. Otherwise, I'm not a writer and I'm not, you know, valid enough for, you know, doing the right thing. Absolute rubbish. You know, you need to... To, to find for yourself your centre before you, so that, so that everything that could distract you, especially if you're easily distracted, like me, um, is put it, put it, you know, put a bubble around yourself, I guess I call it my bubble, I dive into my bubble. Girls can. <laughs> Girls can. Um, also, I, yeah, I love to have a clear head. I don't like to write when I've been, you know, um, having a glass of wine or anything like that. I, just, I like to have my space of, yeah, clear-headedness. Um, and also, I prefer to write when I've set that intention with my spiritual helpers um, to to come to pretty much to ask them and to say, hey, guys, what what do you need to tell me right now? What what what's coming through? So it is about really complete surrender and it is about not thinking, oh, I have to write about this. You know? It's more about what do you want me to write about? And if it's a project, for instance, a book, it will be that next chapter or that next paragraph. What do you want me to write next? So it is a process of surrender more than anything. That's what it is. It's a process of surrender. How 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 much I can surrender actually equates to the quality of the, the work. Um, to be very mindful that when you're, and for me this is very true, when I'm actually writing, I am not editing. I am writing. And to have that clear separation, because the minute you start to edit, because oh, that came out wrong, or I did a typo, and I, you know, it just breaks that connection. I'm not saying it's impossible to, to, to maintain the stream, but it puts limits on where you're jumping, what's going on, you're coming from the head. I, I like to say my channeling is separate from my editing. You know, when I'm writing a book, I don't edit usually as I go, or I write a whole lot, and then if I'm just about finished for the day and that, I might go through and edit it. Do you know? But then that's a separate line in the sand. So. Honouring the connection means not coming from the head. It means surrender. And it is very much related to the crown chakra. So it is about being very open, yeah? And when your crown chakra is open and you're allowing it for writing, that, that actually, that wisdom from the crown will stream through your whole body. So it's not just an island. The crown chakra is on an island, all right? It streams through into the hand and off it goes, all right? So... Um, I'll stop that there for the time being.